Lots. A lot of spirit about this Richmond outfit. It releases to Greek, can run to half forward, decided to kick, and that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. I was about to say the same thing, so I saw they could have had a bounce. It's only behind play. In the middle of the ground, no surprise to see Daniel Jackson. He holds in that with Duffield. But I thought that he could have actually had a bounce and even run inside 50 and had a shot, Greek, but he knew better than us because he went to the go-to guy in Jack Rewald. He's got one Jack Rewald, his best against Fremantle, 5-1 round 15 of last year. This for the perfect start in the second half. Rewald, Richmond as they did in the opening quarter. Probably exactly what you wanted to see in terms of the contest, Ru. We've seen so many lead changes, uh, particularly just before half-time. Richmond came, uh, Fremantle came back and got their nose in front after Richmond had come from behind to overhaul them. And now we see the Tigers back in front, and if anything uh, that we've noticed, I guess, in the first half of this match is normally when one team does something, the other team responds. Yeah, Cochin in and under, winning the hard ball once again. He's a good young player, and Jackson coming in to support him there. That's what the scuffle started from. He'd be pretty pleased with Daniel Jackson there, just supporting yeah, his team. I love it. Getting too carried away. He's been criticised at times for being over the top with his aggression, but he saw Trent Cochin getting roughed up by uh, Duffield. He said, I wouldn't have thought so, Paul. Have a little bit of your own back. He's missed six games of the Tigers' last 19 because of suspension. Cochin again.